you up to first kick here today from Kansas City. It's Morning KC and the Portland Timbers. No changes from last week with personnel, but Memo Rodriguez, we're told, is going to play as a left midfielder. Eric Tommy in that right wing position, normally where we see Johnny Russell. Crepeau starts in goal, a back four, unchanged. The one big change, no Diego Chara today. Becoming a pro. Sporting Kansas City coming forward again. Deflected on the way through, it's Agata deflecting in! How about this star for Sporting? William Agata continues his goal contributions. This time he does it himself. A look at the movement by Shalley, he pulls two defenders. This one squeezes through to Agata, maybe not a deflection. Have taken one. Now it does there. There you see it clearly off Araujo. This ball squeezes in. You can see where Eric Tommy's looking to play. He comes inside. And there's the deflection here. Wrong foot's Crepo to put Kansas City up at home early. Shallowy trying to beat him at that near post. And again, Rodriguez to deliver. The header is down and in. He beats Crepo to it. It's Rosero. Free kick. It gets the crowd into it. Good ball served in by Memo Rodriguez. And Rosero comes flying through the middle of this defense from the top of the penalty spot. And this is what we were talking about yesterday. I don't like when your target players, and boy, Rosero takes a good one to the, the grill right here from Crepo. If you don't get a body on him when he starts his run, you give him a chance to get up to full speed to get that high in the air. You don't stop his run. And Rosero makes them pay here. This will be clipped in. Rosero is there. It's put across, though. Volodair touches it ahead. It's Agata again. Volodair gets on this back post. He's free. There's, Eric Miller's not looking over his shoulder. Had it gone through Rosero, I think this may have been offside here, but he's going to be X'd out of this play. Agata is just wide open in front of Maxime Crepo in a way that you should never be. The factors, hat trick is, cross comes in, Mora chests oh it down, now it's a penalty the other way. And this is when that talking point could become important. And it's Leibold at the back, yeah, this is a penalty kick. Vander is ready, and Vander, it's in. He beats Melia, and Portland is back into it. And Portland, as much as they've been out of this game in the run of play, they get themselves back in it here with an opportunity to at least dream a little bit about getting back into this one. Here come the Timbers again. Anthony, the cross. Rodriguez off his chest. Rodriguez, the cross in front. It is, is it over the line? It is. Felipe Mora scores. Portland is back into it, down one. There you see him top right of your screen. They continue to play. Ordoya is trying to get back in. Rodriguez at the back post. Megs Jake Davis. Felipe Mora, your halftime sub, comes in, does what goal scorers do, stand in front of the box, wait for a service. Tim Melia trying to get back. You can clearly see from there that it's over the line. And we talked about that lifeline on the penalty kick, Josh. Here it is. Portland now get themselves back in this one with an opportunity to think about getting something out of this match. Lays this one off, chipped into the middle. Paredes attacks it, it's saved. The rebound's in. The comeback complete. It's 3-3. The first header here. Nice job by Mealy to get to it, but he's going to want this one back. He left it in a dangerous area where only one guy reacted. Eric Miller on the back post. And an easy finish to make it 3-3. Three, three. Well, that is it. It finishes 3-3. Three, three. Just a few seconds shy of the 10 minutes of stoppage time. What a thriller in Kansas City. Full-time score. Sporting Kansas City 3, Portland 3.